Lisa Bonet, who we now know as Lila Coy Moon. She is here to talk about an amazing film festival. It's called the Elevate Film Festival. Hey, now we're outside enjoying this beautiful sunshine of Southern California. We want to tell you about the Elevate Film Festival and Music Festival. It's kind of like, I guess you could describe it as like the amazing race, but for filmmakers. They have 48 hours to make a short film or music video and uh, a documentary that unifies cultures and increases awareness. How about that for uh, an edict? One of the filmmakers uh, from this past summer is Lisa Bonet. We also have Michael Collier, who is here. We have Mickey, who is here. Now, Michael, a lot of folks, we know, we have to get to the beautiful lady first, but yeah. <laughs> we, a lot of folks know you from the Venice Boardwalk, of Right, course. and I do comedy everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Film and television. I'm emceeing, helping and emceeing and host this event. I did it last year, and we had a wonderful, magical time, so they blessed me and invited me back. Well, so. we're glad to have you. And then, Lisa, we want to talk to you about your involvement. We understand you produced a film this last year. Directed a film? And it directed a, a film, mm -hmm. Waking Compton. What was it about? Um, it was about this woman, Soyinka, who through her own transformation and took over a apartment complex in Compton and took the principles that helped her transform herself into that complex and helped transform that um, living experience. How'd you everyone. find the story? Uh, we get assigned the story. Oh, so. okay. And w the end result, what did it uh, leave you feeling? Um, just love and perseverance can really make a difference. It really sure. can. Next director, we have Rachel Kirschenbaum. Can we get you to do that okay. real quick? Mm-hmm. Jobs, not jails. Jobs, not jails, Rachel, is a documentary about Father Greg Boyle, who creates jobs for troubled teens in East Los Angeles. Hey, Mickey, check this out. I was so inspired by the Elevate Film Festival that I decided to edit a little something of my own together in less than 48 hours. I took all of the interviews that we got on the blue carpet as the directors were entering the festival, and I put this together. Check it out. Hi, and welcome. We're here at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. We are ready for the third Elevate Film Festival. Things are about to get underway, and I'm your host, Tamara Henry. What is the name of the movie that you guys have? It's a music video, and this is the artist Ishmael. Oh, Ishmael, I've heard so much about you. Oh, have you? I really have. Mickey told me all about you. Uh, okay, cool. So tell us your story really quickly. Uh, I'm just a small town boy from Kansas who came out to Hollywood and um, had some music to do and had a message to carry as well, and it has resonated very nicely, so... <laughs> That's about it. So we have, an, we have a director here with us. He did Green Ambassadors, a documentary. Tell us a little bit about what it's about. It's about a high school program at the Environmental Charter High School in Lawndale, California that teaches kids green living and how to pass it on to other kids. And how was it for you the past 48 hours? Well, I make everything by myself, so I did all the directing, producing, shooting, all the editing, everything. So you're a total control freak, right? <laughs> I'm a control freak. Now, is this something that you already knew about, about channeling, or did you learn something as you were making this film? Mm, no. The, f we, it, the first time that I knew about the project was 48 hours ago. Really? Yes. And so you got a quick lesson in channeling. Channeling, yes. And suddenly you start reading the script and start figuring out, you know, brain freeze, ask advice, a couple friends, and then you just go and do it. Did you guys like have a spiritual experience over the past 48 hours? Absolutely, absolutely. We, um, a, a bunch of Sean's friends and just various musicians, various artists, uh, we, all, we all came together and just kind of started this impromptu drum circle where we we were uh, at first we weren't even filming we were just just going just kind of like getting the vibe getting the energy going so by the time the cameras rolled everyone was uh, was in the energy and in just like just the joy of the moment yeah. so it all worked out beautifully okay. all right guys we have Danny Rowe here he did another one of the music videos what was the name of your music video uh, blanking. Uh, he's blanking because yeah. he's only had how many how many hours of sleep have you had over the past forty eight hours? My my brain just rebooted and so I forgot everything. But I um, <laughs> can't even remember the name yeah. of the music video. It, that it's did. yeah. But it's, it's coming to him. What was it now? Elevating. I don't know how. <laughs> it took me a minute. Did you have a moving experience doing the film? I actually cried twice during interviewing because two of the women's stories were just so moving and they cried and they made me cry because I was tired and it was moving and. You know, it was emotional. It was emotional. Comedy, comedy is your specialty. It's your forte, right? Yeah, somehow. I don't know. I just <laughs> kind of like fell into it. Uh, I just discovered that, you know, the, the comedies when you when the character just turns completely the opposite way that you least expect it, and that's when it becomes so funny. And that's really the only reason we do it, and because they really deserve acknowledgement. So that's what it's about. Not really competition, because everybody here deserves an award for what they do. Just want to thank 
Thank my contribution so in less than 48 much. hours. And I want to give a big thanks to Bobby Fever, my photographer there on the blue carpet. Absolutely, and speaking yeah. of blue carpet, people are probably wondering, what is she talking about, blue carpet? It, but yeah. normally we have a red carpet, but yeah. what's the philosophy behind the blue carpet at the Elevate Festival? Well, you know, I mean, we're just, we're out to do something new and just um, break all traditions. And right. so it kind of, it originated with that uh, thought. And then obviously we have blue in our logo and our, right. our color scheme. Mm -hmm. And so then that, that also. And also your beautiful blue eyes. I just yeah, have to say. Yeah, that was the other reason. I really <laughs> wanted to look good on the blue carpet. And I'm sure so. that all of the women who are watching are wanting to know if you're single. No. <laughs> you're not no, single. Oh, very no, very much not. No, I'm, well, I'm with my okay. life partner. She's <laughs> my producer of this entire festival. And okay. But that doesn't do mean we still her. can't bask in, the, in your beauty oh, and in thank the you. beautiful works and the creativity and in that yours, you're contributing your to the world. And your beautiful blue eyes. So. Thank you. You. Yeah, so um, now, now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, back to the show here. Okay. Um, I was off my fantasy land there. But um, so, yeah, back to Elevate Film Festival. Tell us about your spiritual journey. Uh -huh. How did you, I mean, not just, you know, what the work that you're doing now, but your own personal <laughs> spiritual journey. How did you get on that? Well, it's kind of a long story, but um, <laughs> I, I've been on it for a long time, but I think the catalyst for um, getting me in, in total action to do everything that I've been wanting to do was um, actually 9-11. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, mm -hmm. um, I was not far from the World Trade Center when it went down and ended up working there for three days oh and, um, and doing search and rescue. And, and, um, and I, was, I had a, you know, an experience that brought me back to Hollywood with the question, um, I wasn't sure that I wanted to play this game anymore um, and the whole game of Hollywood and everything kind of felt you know unimportant to me all of a sudden mm -hmm. and um, and so I went away for a year and really meditated on it and really you know did to decide what I what I wanted to do and and my decision was when I come back to Hollywood that I just wanted to do it in, in my own way which is not to say that the way that it's done is wrong or bad in any way. We're not a, out to, to, to change or fix Hollywood. Um, we're out to just play the way we want to play, you know, and create works and, and, until we can make this, this genre of work a commodity so that it becomes more popular. And, um, and so that, that's really the, 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 was the catalyst for it, was really just seeing this, uh, something of that scope, something so much greater than myself and what was possible, I actually was filled with a lot of um, beauty when I was at Ground Zero because I saw what happens when thousands of people get together with one common goal to help and save each other. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was really an actual, it was actually a very beautiful experience for me to be there, to see everybody drop their rank and their egos and their identities and get out there and um, work day and night without food and water, with you know, with uh, this incredible stuff that was in the air that was making all of our, our eyes bleed and, and nobody cared about that. It was really about, you know, can we help each other? And so, so for me, I saw what was possible. And um, not to get too preachy about it or anything like that because, you know, it's, um, we like to try to keep it light and have fun with Elevate, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it was also my, mm -hmm. my frustration with um, coming back and watching all of the news reports after 9-11 and uh, just everything was so negative. Um, and inaccurate. Having been there, I saw so many things that were just not reported accurately. So for me, Elevate was kind of an expression of, of you know, it's time for some good news. Let's spotlight some local heroes. Let's, let's talk about what's right with the world. Let's not dwell on the problems. There's enough programs out there that's spotlighting how, how horrible Bush is and everybody and the government and how it's being run and all of that. And we, we already know the problems. We want to talk about what's right with the world. There's a lot of really good people out there doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. And so we um, do our best to uh, focus yeah. on that. Yeah, it's real symbolic. I mean, it seems like on the planet right now that it's our mission right now to elevate consciousness. And one of the best ways that we can do that is through entertainment. It's almost like we're building new neuro pathways. We're yeah. deciding, hey, you know, we're going to tune into another channel. We're going to vibrate at a higher level. We're going to elevate. You know, yeah. one of the first quotes that I ever memorized was one. Um, it says, I know of no more encouraging fact than the unquestionable ability of man to elevate his life through conscious endeavor. Yeah. And it's kind of like that's what you're doing Who with, said that? through entertainment. Um, I think it was. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to call Henry, you out on camera. Henry David Thoreau, I think, oh, said nice. that. I think I like that. I think it's him. <laughs> Did we use that quote in the festival? Or I don't think so. Oh, wow. But it's got the word elevated. I like so. that. Yeah. <laughs> We run, you know, positive mm -hmm. quotes between each I film, so I like yeah. that one a lot. If you mm -hmm. could send that to me, that would be great. Yeah. 